Hey, what's up everyone? Coach Danny here. Today we're going to be talking about the double jab. I want to talk about a couple of mistakes that I see students doing once in a while and I also want to do the correct technique. Of course, we're going to teach you how to do it properly. So check it out. Okay, so check it out. The double jab has to have a purpose. We don't just throw it twice just for the sake of throwing two jabs, right? We have to throw it with the intention of causing a reaction, okay? So when we practice, it's very important for rule number one to visualize something you're doing, right? So see an opponent in front of you, visualize that opponent and see in your mind the reaction that they would do after that first jab. So when we throw that double jab, the intent behind it is to set up more punches, all right? We can use it offensively or defensively. So let me explain a little bit. When we're gonna throw the double jab, let me first start by some of the mistakes. The number one mistake that I see a lot of times is people just flick the hand out like this. All right, they just flick it twice, okay? I see two mistakes just with this technique. Number one, there's no twisting of their fist. All right, so I always talk about how to turn and rotate your punches. Turn the two first knuckles in it, okay? You'll hear some instructors say, don't need to do this, not. I'll tell you one thing, if you don't turn, you're gonna hit with the bottom of your fingers, and that's not what you want, especially with a boxing glove on. If you do it on the street, you're gonna break your hand. Now, let me take a second here to review how to properly twist your knuckles right here. Boom, take a close up look right here. Let me get close to the camera, watch this fist. This is the wrong way, see? Fingers are pointing, correct way. Boom, knuckles are pointing. Now we got this out of the way, the double jab is two jabs, but the second one, take note. Slow motion, first jab comes out, and then I return about half to three quarters and flick it out again, all right? So earlier I said there's two mistakes with the way I did it. Number one was the hand positioning, but the second mistake is people just flick it twice from the elbow. Now from the side you might not see, so let me change the angle here. This is what it looks like. See how the elbow is up when I return my punch? Nothing's guarding me here. When I bring the elbow down, boom. Fist and glove is at the chin where it's supposed to be. So try to keep the elbow underneath your punch right here. Bam, bam. From the side. Bam, bam. And twist. Always twist. Now you gotta stay loose, just like elastic bands. The punch goes out at 50 miles an hour. It comes back at 100, okay? Sometimes you can double the jab up by doing two jabs. This is just terminology for me. This is how I like to coach it. I say double jab, or sometimes I'll say jab, jab, or two jabs. This is the jab, 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 jab. Notice how I bring the jab right back to the starting point. It goes one, comes back to where it started, and goes out again. That's two jabs. That's the jab, jab. So sometimes we'll throw two jabs, one jab, return to starting point, throw the jab again so we could set up the right cross, but the double jab is different. That's the purpose of this video today is we want to flick it twice. So I cause, when I see that first jab coming, there's going to be a couple of reactions. Number one, I might cover. Number two, I might parry. Number three, I might snap back or move away. Or I might just slip to the outside. Nevertheless, the second jab has to have that purpose, that intent I talked about earlier is when I flick it out, I have to visualize in my head where your body is going. Whether you're moving your head sideways, backwards, or pairing with your hands, okay? So when I see this, the second one has to pop right out so I can throw a right hand. Now the second thing we've got to keep in mind is we always want to use body movement. Body movement, what is that? Here, this is the correct way, and this is the wrong way, the wrong way. Notice on the second one, it's pulling my body over my lead foot, which is wrong, why? Because when I throw it again, I have nothing left. The second jab is garbage. See, one, two, where's my cross? I'm not in position with the cross. Or sometimes people step in only with the lead foot. Where's my cross? It's dragging behind me. Always pull your feet underneath your punches, all right? Remember this, and you'll always be in great positions for correct technique, okay? So watch this now, watch the feet, don't watch the hands. Both feet are moving. Both feet need to move in order to close the distance. If I only use one foot in, I don't close any gap, all right? And now I'm not in the correct position to throw a follow-up punch, such as my right hand, left hook, uppercuts, body shots, or even defensively. If I need to move my head after that double jab, I'm not in the correct stance to do so. So take a look one last time, guys. This is just a quick tutorial 
to show some important points to remember next time you train that double jab. Always have a good stance. First jab comes out, returns, and pushes back out. If you turn the knuckle, you don't need to reload from the starting point. All right, the snap, the elastic snap, comes from the pop. Watch this. That pop, the shoulder pop, once you rotate your fist, boom, right from here, from the back, boom, right from here again, boom, 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 see, pop, pop, and you're back. That is the double jab. So train these, study, rewind the video, start it over, look at it two, three times, look at some of the points, and try to visualize next time you're in the training room how you practice that double jab. Try to hit the bag, do it in shadow boxing next time with your coach on the focus pads, Visualize these things. The best way to train, guys, is always shadow boxing. Feel the movement for yourself. You don't have any heavy objects, such as a heavy bag, to stop you from really engaging in your technique. All right? So first, shadow boxing. And then I'm going to even throw an additional trick for you guys. You want to learn how to stay loose? Reverse your stance. So if you're right-handed, now go southpaw. And train the same thing with the right jab now. Why is that? Because a lot of people that are right-handed, they're always stiffer with their power side. Switch your stance and learn to get loose on that side as well. What is that going to do? That's going to improve you guys in your mind and your body to show you how to relax. So once you lead with the left, you can also lead with the right. You can do it both ways and man, that's only going to improve your left side once again when you go back to your conventional stance. Guys, this is enough for today. If you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be sharing a lot more knowledge, a lot of knowledge Bombs are coming your way on this channel, guys. Give us a like. I'll catch you in the next jabbing video. Take care.